the radioactive spider bit you. You might <laughs> All right, so the spider would have to contain radioactive material in its venom for it to do anything to you. The spider itself had just been irradiated. It's not doing anything to you. Think you'd get superpowers, but instead nah, you'd start to feel nauseous and dizzy, and then you'd vomit as the radiation damaged your cells. Okay. So, this spider must have some insanely potent radioactive material, stronger than something like polonium-210, which has been used as a poison before. Because one bite isn't gonna do much, it's gonna take sustained dose. Next, you'd feel extremely tired, and your hair would fall out. Soon, your immune system would weaken. Okay, these are all symptoms of radiation poisoning, but again, one bite's not gonna be enough. You open to infection with any known radioactive material. And if the spider bit you more than once, the extreme exposure to radiation would cause- Okay, yeah, it would- Lord. It, it would take many, many spiders with really weird venom. There's no way a spider can carry that much. This video is clearly looking at polonium-210, but it'd have to be a much higher dose. Fighting crime, you'd actually just be fighting for your life. Yeah.